There's an article that just came out in the Archives of General Psychiatry showing that some depressed people that take antidepressants, the SSRI antidepressants like Cymbalta and Effexor and Zoloft uh -huh. and Prozac and so forth, can actually do worse than a placebo. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> well, we know a study was done some time ago that looked at all the studies published and unpublished that had to do with SSRI antidepressants. And what they found was that there was no benefit to taking the drug over the over the antidepressant because the effects were the same. Yeah, I remember we reported a study that said placebo effect worked just as well and also exercise. <laughs> exercise works better than, even better than placebo. And so it should be the first thing. And so what we should be doing in our patients who are depressed is putting them in exercise programs so that they could do that. And all it takes is an hour three times a week, and you get the same thing as an average dose of something like Prozac. Okay, now we listen to the ads on TV, especially <laughs> right. there's one right now that's running mm -hmm. on Cymbalta. The guy must spend the majority of the ad having to read off all the side effects, and oh, I'm dear. thinking, who in their right mind <laughs> in their right mind would take this drug? That's right. I mean, what are the side Let's talk about There's some of the side effects There's loads of side are. effects, and we're talking now about more than 5% have these side effects, things like nausea and dry mouth, uh, sleepiness, fatigue, constipation, dizziness, Osteoporosis. Insomnia. Well, there you go. And then there's more serious side effects that don't occur near as often. Like liver toxicity? Oh, yeah, or the Stevens-Johnson syndrome, oh, which kills terrible. a lot of people. It's a skin disorder. Some people have seizures. They pass out because they have low blood pressure. They have urinary retention, and they want to take that. And, and what's so amazing is these drugs don't even work better than placebo. So what are we talking about? So now they've isolated in this study maybe 20% of the people who might do somewhat better than placebo. Is it worth doing all the things that we have to do with genetic testing to try and see if we can identify those people so we just use it in them? Wasn't there also recently a test that showed a study that showed that when you told people that it was a placebo, that it still worked. These so you don't even with, have to trick people. You don't have to give them a purple pill and, or a pink pill or a right. yellow pill and tell them that it's a, a sugar pill because that they might get mad at you if you didn't tell them that. You can tell them it's a placebo. Well, they and specifically, it still works. what they did is they looked at people who had irritable bowel syndrome. And they gave them this little pill, and it said placebo on it. And they said, see, there's a placebo. It's not supposed to work. They gave it to them for six weeks. And at the end of the study, they did better than the people who got nothing. Well, you know, maybe sugar is an antidepressant. <laughs> well, it just shows you what the power of your mind is and how it regulates your biochemistry and physiology. Mm -hmm. These are the things that really have the action to them. The pills all have side effects. And when you're using multiple amounts or multiple pills, You've got side effects that are going to occur that have never been studied because we don't do studies. And plus, if you're taking another drug, it can interact with that, and then sometimes you end up taking another drug for the side effects of that drug or that combination of drugs, and so it goes. All right, so basically... Oh, and it can also cause suicidal tendencies. <laughs> small detail. So <laughs> what we're looking at here is a, is a study that's pretty lame. And at the end of the study, it says, yes, two of the people who were in the study, one was an employee of Eli Lilly, and the other was on the advisory board of directors. Now, there's a little conflict of interest there, and it's interesting to note that they didn't make it reference to any other trade names, okay, of other drugs in there. They just mentioned their own, Cymbalta, okay, by, uh, by its name. So we've got a conflict of interest which takes it a level deeper in terms of looking at an article that you have to really question because whenever these kinds of articles have these kinds of conflicts of interest they're giving you the best presentation they can written in a way that's misleading to try and suggest that this is what you should do. And if you think you're depressed and then you take this drug <laughs> right. and you get all these side effects and you get worse you're going to probably it. get more depressed. <laughs> let's, let's be logical. Let's start thinking about the role of placebo as a treatment. Why not use placebo when it's at least equivalent to and just not tell people about it? And a lot of people are uppity uppity on that and saying, well, you, you can't be doing that to people, but you can. I think it's good medicine. Or just get them to go exercise. That would be the best, yes.